Hi guys, Amy Star Allen here. And in this video today, I'm going to talk about something that's really near and dear to my heart. And that is the importance of leverage if you are attempting to create a business that creates freedom for you in your life. And so what I'm going to do in this video is I am going to actually share with you my onboarding process for new, when I when I bring new members in as affiliates into my business and I'm going to show you exactly how I handle my new members so that I'm not needing to call them or chase them down or answer a ton of questions via email or any of that to really leverage my time. So if you're new to affiliate marketing or new to having a home-based business, you might be thinking, well, I want to call all my new members. I want to talk to everybody on the phone. And that's totally fine if that's something that you want to do. Just know that over time, as your business starts to grow, if you start bringing people in every day or every week and you're bringing in a lot of new members, it's going to get harder and harder to keep up with that. Not to mention, it's really good to set yourself up from the beginning with a system in place so that it's easy for you to grow. You know, like there's only so quickly that you can grow and scale if you're needing to talk to every single person one on one. So, you know, something to keep in mind, you are going to be holding yourself back if you feel the need to actually talk on the phone with every single person that you sponsor. And in the long run, you know, you want to think about your long term goals. So if your long term goal is to create a freedom business, which is what my long term goal is, then you want to set yourself up for success around that. So for example, I was traveling in the month of May and I was on a retreat where I didn't even check anything like I, I wasn't plugged in at all and yet I you know my business grew and I generated new leads and new sales and I wasn't stressing out while I was on my retreat about like needing to like jump on the phone every time a new sale came in or whatever because I knew that I have this onboarding process in place and that once I got out of the retreat all I had to do was one thing for each new member all I do is I add them to a sequence of emails that they receive and the emails do the rest for me. And I'm going to go, I'm going to show you a little bit more about that in a second. But the reason I'm saying this is because, you know, right from the get go, when you start a new business or you join a new company or, you know, you, you want to set yourself up for growth, like you might be new and thinking, well, I'm not sponsoring that many people. And so... I have time to talk on the phone with everybody and that's great. However, if your goal is to create a big business where you're sponsoring lots of people, you want to set that up from the beginning so that you're not backpedaling later when you've, you've gotten into the habit and trained your team to be in the habit of needing to like reach out to you one on one every time they have a question about anything or whatever. So if you take the time to like put some systems in place from the get go, number one, you're setting yourself up for success right out of the gate so that you're not backpedaling later. But number two, you're basically, and I know this is going to sound woo woo, but this is the way that I think you're showing the universe that you're ready to handle any kind of growth that you're ready to scale as big as you want to scale. Like I can sponsor as many people as I want into my business on a daily basis because my process is in place and it doesn't require extra time from me personally when I sponsor people because I, I provide a ton of support for my people, which I'm going to show you how I do it in a group setting every week um, for multiple hours a week. I'm available to my team, right? But it's not on a one-on-one -on -one setting. So I just wanted to put, you know, to mention that before I show you my process to, you know, to explain to you why I'm telling you this. And this is something that I've done in the businesses that I've had online. Whenever, if I change gears and I start any kind of a new business, I always set everything up ahead of time so that I'm ready to sponsor as many people as possible right out of the gate. Because if you're not, you're going to be shooting yourself in the foot, basically. You're not going to be able to handle that kind of growth. And therefore, you're not probably going to experience that kind of growth. So it's good to set yourself up right out of the gate. The other thing that I'm going to say is that my onboarding process that I'm going to share with you is 
I give this to my team when they join me in my business, but you can use this for whatever business you have. You know, if you decide you want to join my team, you can use everything that I'm going to show you, like exactly to the T, copy and paste, whatever, because I give it to you. But if you have another business and you're not interested in, in my business, that's totally fine because you can basically take what I'm going to show you and recreate it in your own way for whatever business that you have if you're interested in scaling and leveraging in the way that I'm going to share with you here. So I just wanted to mention that as well. This is just, you know, I've done this for many businesses over the years. I've been marketing online for almost 20 years at this point. I think it's 18 years at this point. So I've had, you know, different types of businesses over the years. And one of the nice things about having an online business is that is that it's so scalable. We can reach people, you know, through our videos and stuff. We can reach people in other countries at all hours of the day, even when we're sleeping. So once I started doing things online and seeing that, I knew that I had to always have a system in place where I could just grow as big, you know, as big as possible without needing, you know, without creating an extra demand on my personal time. Because I don't want to be on the phone all day. That's not why I do what I do. I do what I do so that I can have freedom to travel and go on retreats and whatever where I don't have to worry about having all of these appointments or whatever. So um, so anyway, I just wanted to mention that and I just wanted you know to say that I have used this exact process in other businesses. You can use this in whatever business that you like. And um, so now I'm going to jump in and I'm just going to show you what I do when somebody joins me in my business. Okay, so basically what happens is anytime anybody opts into any of my lead magnets from my YouTube videos or any of my content online, they're given, you know, whatever lead magnet they opted into and eventually they're going to be taken via my email sequence or the lead magnet itself is going to eventually send them to learn more about my business, right? So when they are ready to learn more about my business and they come over to the page to learn more about my business, they're going to be taken to this page and then they can click here to join my business. So when they join my business, what happens is I immediately get an email letting me know that somebody has just joined. And then all I do, I literally do one thing with every new member. What I do with each of my new members is I add them to an autoresponder series that I already have set up in my AWeber account. And that autoresponder series that I'm going to show you in a second sends them a welcome email with instructions and then a few more emails after that. So let me show you the process. Okay, so I have all of my emails that are in my onboarding sequence loaded on a Google document. So if you join me, my team, you're going to get access to this Google document where you can literally copy and paste these emails right into your autoresponder and do the exact thing that I do. Because the first thing on this document, it says click here to watch the onboarding orientation video, right? So if you click on this, it takes you to this video where I show you exactly how I do all of this, right? And I'm not gonna do like a technical training today. I just wanna kind of show you my process so that you understand that you do not have to chase after your new members. I have a very successful business and I don't chase after anybody. And all of the support that I do is in a leveraged way. So that is the whole purpose of this video today. You know, and like I said, you can use this process in any business at all that you have. Okay, so this is the campaign that I have loaded into my autoresponder. I have a list called HBA onboarding. And then when somebody joins my business, I just add them to this list. I just add the subscriber to this list. Basically, I take their email address out of the notification email that I get that lets me know that I just made a sale. I take their email address out of that email. I load it into this list and then they start getting this series of emails. And you can see I have I have four emails. I have uh, a welcome email that goes out right away. And then it says, wait one day before performing the next action. And it sends a second email. And it says, wait two days before performing the next action, sends a third email and wait two days before performing the next action and sends a fourth email. So basically what I'm doing is I'm spreading out 
a, a welcome sequence for my new members over the course of a week. They get a couple of emails one day after the next, and then they're spread out by two days at a time. And so I'm basically, you know, they're getting these emails that are going to be really helpful in helping them get started correctly. Okay, so all of the, these emails that I have loaded in here are on a Google Doc that my team can use to do the same exact thing in their autoresponder. It doesn't have to be Aweber. I happen to use Aweber. Um, but whatever autoresponder you use, you can just copy and paste the emails right out of the Google Doc and set up a sequence like this and call it, you know, onboarding for whatever business you have. And then each time you bring a new person into your business, all you have to do is add them to this list and they will automatically get this sequence. So I'm going to show you a little bit about what is included in the sequence. Okay, so again, I have these already loaded into my autoresponder. And so mine are going to be slightly different based on what I have going on. And they're already going to have my links in them and so forth. But this is just the Google document that I give to my team. And so this is completely editable. But this is the template that I used for all of my emails in my onboarding sequence. So basically the first email is a welcome. Well, it just says welcome to the Home Business Academy next steps, resources and bonuses inside. And then I say hi, this anything in brackets is where you would come in and just like edit it to suit your um you know, your links, your codes, your whatever. So here where it says name, each autoresponder has its own personalization brackets. So like it's different for Aweber than it is for GetResponse or whatever, but you would just replace this with the personalization for that autoresponder so that it's automatically going to put the fir person's first name in there, right? And then it says, welcome to the Home Business Academy. I'm so glad you're here. My name is, and this is where you would put your name in. And then um, I created a quick welcome video for you. And then it says link to your welcome video if you have one. What I've been doing since since the beginning, since I've been in the Home Business Academy, is I have a welcome video. So the very first email, the first thing I do is I send them to this video. And this video is going to explain everything that they need to know to get set up properly, right? So that's the whole purpose of the welcome email for me, is to send people to this welcome video so that I can introduce myself and I can tell them exactly where they need to go to get plugged into the community, how they can access my bonuses, all of that stuff. So I've got my welcome video here and I, this page has all of these other um, bonuses and resources on it for them so that everything is in one place. And I always tell them, you know, bookmark this page because they can come back to this page anytime they need any of these, these bonuses or resources. And you'll see one of the resources that's on here. I have some of my marketing emails in here as well for my team, but I also have the onboarding emails and orientation I give my team. So when they click on that, it takes them right here to this Google Doc. So that's one of the things that you get the minute that you join my team here. Okay, so I'm sending them to the welcome video and then I'm just telling them, please go through this video before you do anything else. In it, I'm going to introduce myself and give you the next steps as well as some important resources that will help you get on the right track. I've also included some unadvertised bonuses for you. Watch the video here. So I put the link again. Please let me know if you have any questions. Welcome to the community. I look forward to getting to know you better. And then your name. And then I go into more detail about this in this orientation video, like what to do if you don't have a welcome video and stuff like that. So I'm not going to do all of that for the sake of this video, but I just want to give you the general idea about, you know, again, this is a temp, an email template, so you can edit it to work for whatever it is that you're providing for your new members. But I love video. I love using video to leverage my business because if I can welcome people into the community on a video and introduce myself and show them my screen and show them where they can find everything they need to get started, then I don't have to jump on a call with every new person because I, you know, I'd be doing the same thing on a call and I'd be like a broken record doing it over and over and over again, where here, if I'm sending people to a video, I'm leveraging myself and my time. I'm doing it all once on a video and then I send it out in the welcome email and everybody has what they need. Do you see what I mean? So you don't have to do a welcome email or a welcome video, but that's what, how I like to do it. I've just always found that video is the best way to leverage myself because it creates that personal touch and it makes it easy for me 
to explain things to people. I can show my screen. I can show them the back office. I can show them where they need to go to find certain things. And that's a lot harder to do if I'm trying to write it all out in an email. So the whole purpose of my first email is just to send people to my welcome page. And there they're going to get my welcome video and all of my resources. And then in the PS line here, I'm letting them know, I'm saying, please know that even if you're on your trial membership of HBA Premium Traffic and Conversions Academy, you'll get access to all of our daily and weekly masterminds. We meet on Zoom Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. for over-the-shoulder traffic and conversions training, and I encourage you to join us. And then I have this a little bit of the schedule here, Premium Traffic and Conversions Mastermind at 11 a.m., Premium Marketing Mastermind 8 p.m. on Mondays. And the Zoom links for each can be found in your premium back office under Get Coaching. I've actually changed this in my welcome email now because I created my own page that has a schedule of all of our Zoom meetings and everything on it to make it easy for people. So you can do this however you want. But my goal in my welcome sequence is to make sure people know how to plug in. We have the most support I've ever seen available in any online community ever where we do these, uh, these over-the-shoulder trainings every Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern, and they're recorded. So for our premium members, like if you can't be there live, you can go and watch the recording if you can't be there live. And they even have a place where you can submit your questions if you can't be there live so that they'll still answer them live on screen. And then you can go back and watch the recording. I have never seen a community with this much support. So for me and for you, if you're in our community, I consider these my office hours. I'm on these Zoom calls and we have one Monday through Friday for at least an hour, usually a little bit longer than that. So that's five hours a week that I'm on that. And then Monday nights at 8 p.m. we have our marketing mastermind where we bring on a couple of different people each week that are getting results with their marketing. We have them share exactly what they're doing. And I'm on all these masterminds and we never end a mastermind without making sure everybody's questions are answered. So if somebody needs access to me, this is where they can get access to me. Six hours a week, I'm on Zoom supporting the community, supporting my team, supporting the community at large with other leaders, with the founders of our company. So it's the best place to get support that I've ever seen online. It's way better than somebody getting on a phone call with me, right? Because if they ask the question on Zoom, they get access to me if they want me, but they also get access to the other leaders in our community and we, cannot, we all have the ability to share our screen to walk people through things or to critique their pages for them or whatever they need at all. So my goal in this email series is always to make sure that people understand the importance of plugging into our community because we have the best community Ever. So you'll notice that in my emails that I'm always sending people back to the Zoom calls and back to the community. Um, I have my own Facebook group as well for my team. And that's where if somebody has personal questions for me, I tell them to put them in that Facebook group. And the reason for that is because if I was answering questions one on one in an email every time somebody had a question, I'd be answering the same question over and over and over again for one person rather than doing it in a leveraged way. In my Facebook group, when my team members put questions in the Facebook group, I answer it once and everybody can see it. And a lot of times I'll just shoot a quick like Loom video or whatever to answer the question so that I can do it on screen. And that, that way, now the question has been answered for my entire team, not just one person. So I do everything in a leveraged way. And the way that I do that is by constantly reminding people of how they can plug into the community. We've got these Zoom calls. I have my Facebook group. And you'll, you'll notice the theme here in my, in my onboarding sequence is to continuously send people back to these resources so that they realize they're supported. I am available 100%. Like I'm there in my Facebook group every day. I'm on Zoom every day. I'm available. I'm here to support you. I have all of these office hours where I'm 100% available. I just don't do it one-on-one -on -one. because if I did, I would have zero freedom in my life or in my business. And here's the other piece about that. If you are wanting to create freedom in your life, but you're jumping on the phone with every single person that, that joins your business, what that does is it demonstrates to your new team member that if in order for them to be successful, they have to jump on the phone with every new team member. And a lot of people do not want to do that because they realize it's going to be very time consuming as their business grows or they won't be able to really grow their business that big because they don't have enough time. Some people have a full-time job. They just don't have time for all of that. 
So when you do it in a leveraged way, what that does is it demonstrates to people that you can be successful and build a business online without getting on the phone with your people. And you can still provide just as much, if not more. In this case, I feel like we and I provide more support for our members than I would be if I was getting on the phone because we're getting on Zoom six hours a week and I have my Facebook group where I'm answering questions. Like no, no question goes unanswered, but we're doing it in a, in a way where we're leveraging the community. So even if somebody has like a super technical question that I can't answer, they're going to get access to Mike Hobbs. He can answer it on Zoom. So they're going to get a better support than they would if they were just asking me. So my goal is to provide better support for my members than I could do on my own, but also to demonstrate to my members and to the people who haven't even joined yet that everything can be done with leverage, that we can have freedom in our lives so that we can go on retreats and not need to be plugged into our business while we're there and still generate leads and sales. Everything is done with leverage. Okay, so that is the goal of how I do my business. It's what I want to demonstrate to the people that are considering doing business with me because the people, my target market, are people that want to build a life of freedom as well. And if they see that I'm getting on the phone every time they have a question, then they're, that's going to be a turnoff to people. I know it was for me when I got in my first network marketing company. I wanted to be a crown diamond in the company, but the crown diamonds who were in my upline were on the phone all day long doing three-way calls. And I saw what their lifestyle was like. They had a lot of money, but they were on the phone all day long doing three-way calls. And I thought to myself, I don't want to live like that. I don't want to be on the phone. I don't want to talk on the phone for business. I want to do my business online. And the beauty of doing it online is that we get to leverage ourselves in so many different ways. And so that is the whole point of this video is to demonstrate that to you. So I hope this is making sense. Again, you can do it however you want, but my goal is to create freedom and to show other people how to do the same thing. Okay, so, so no phone calls for me. Okay, so then the second email goes out one day later and it just says the subject line is just checking in and I just say, I hope you're enjoying the Home Business Academy so far. Get ready for an amazing experience. I'm just checking in to make sure you're all set up. And then I say, you should have your username and password by now and you should be able to log in. If you haven't gotten your login set up yet, you can watch this video to guide you through that process. Again, leverage. Here's a video to show you how to set that up if you haven't set that up yet so that they don't feel like they have to email me and say, I don't know how to set it up. Here you go. Here's how you set it up, right? And for any questions regarding marketing, domain names, funnels, etc., please come join us on one of our six weekly Zoom sessions. Again, I'm mentioning that we have these Zoom sessions and we're here to support you for whatever you need. These sessions are designed to help you learn marketing strategies that are being used by others in our community that are working right now, strategies that people are getting results with. We also do lots of masterminding and we always leave time for Q&A at the end. So bring your questions so that we can answer them for you live. Again, I'm mentioning when we meet and um, be sure and add these to your calendar. So again, I'm reminding people, this is what we do. This is how we do it. This is when we meet. This is how to get plugged into the community. And then I say a quick reminder, if you're planning to market the HBA as an affiliate, if you're planning to earn 80% commissions by marketing the Home Business Academy as affiliate, make sure you go through all four videos of our affiliate quick start training before moving on to anything else. You can access the affiliate quick start here. And I went over this in my welcome video that I sent people to when they first joined, but just in case they forgot or they didn't do it yet or they didn't watch the video or whatever, I'm, I'm mentioning it again here because those four videos are all people need to go through in order to start earning money right away as an affiliate. So. I want to make sure people don't miss that step. A reminder about how to get the most out of the Home Business Academy. I talk about how life can get hectic and there are distractions and people don't do what they need to do. Don't let that be you. This is truly a one of a kind community and opportunity and there's nothing like it anywhere out there. I promise this is a place that you can and will that can and will transform your life and your business, but it will only work if you commit and get plugged in. The best advice I can give you is to participate in our community as much as you can. Plug into our Zoom calls, our Facebook group, and our Telegram chat, and actively participate. This is the way you will get to know us, make lots of friends, learn a ton, get the most out of what the HBA has to offer. I'm so happy that you are here. And then you can log in here. And then I'm giving them 
a list of our events, telling them to bookmark it. So again, I'm empowering people to take charge of their business. Here's, here's the calendar, bookmark it. That way you always know where you can come when you need help or when you wanna get some training or whatever, okay? So those are the first two emails. The, the third email, like I showed you before, goes out two days after the second email. So I, I give them a couple days and then I send another email. And um, so this one is says marketing the HBA as an affiliate, important. So now I'm saying you've been here a few days. I hope you're enjoying it. Today I want to remind you of something that's really important to know if you're planning to market the HBA as an affiliate. I know I mentioned this in my last email, but I wanted to make sure you saw it, so I thought it was worth re-mentioning. Again, leverage. I know there's a ton of training and information in the HBA back office, and it can feel overwhelming at first, so I just wanted to remind you that if you're wanting to earn commissions as an HBA affiliate, the first step is to go through all four of the Affiliate Fast Art videos. So again, I'm just reminding them where to find the Affiliate Fast Art training videos. Not everybody in the HBA is marketing as an affiliate. We have tools and training here that can be used for people in anything. But if they do want to earn money here as an affiliate, I wanna make sure they know how to do that and how to get set up to do that. So that's what this email is about. And then two days later, the next email goes out, the last email, and it just says, hi, with their name, I'm here for you. And so again, I'm just saying, I hope you're enjoying it. The Home Business Academy, I wanted to check in again and see how you're doing. If you have any issues logging in, watch this video again. If you still have issues, you can contact HBA support here. Again, removing myself from the equation because I'm not the person that can help them with their login issues anyway. So I wanna tell them where to go if they do need somebody to help them with that. For all other questions regarding marketing, domain names, funnels, etc., please come join us on one of our six weekly Zoom sessions. Again, giving them information about when those are and then letting them know um, so here I say, if you need me right away, you can simply hit reply to this email. So that's, this is the template for that. My actual email says, if you need me right away, be sure and ask your question in my private Facebook group. Because I have a private Facebook group for my team. I don't answer questions in emails. Like I said before, I like to do everything leveraged. But if you don't have a Facebook group and you want to answer things in emails, you can leave this the way that it is. So I'm just, you know, letting them know that I'm here. And then I'm saying, here's a taste of what our fellow members are saying about the HBA. Now, keep in mind, the people that are reading these emails have already joined the HBA. So this is not in an effort to get them to join the HBA. It's in an effort to make sure that they realize how powerful our community is because I want them to take advantage of it. I want them to plug in and you know, benefit from the leverage that we have in our community and the training and the support that's available here. So I'm just letting them know what people have said about it. It's like a real family, warming, full of love, very different. We do everything together. I love the Home Business Academy because of the quality of the tools, learning environment, and com amazing community. So this is just a bunch of stuff that people have said about our community so that they're hearing it from somebody other than me. And then I just say, you know, our HBA members have experienced some truly remarkable results inside of this community. It's a community and company like no other out there. We have tons of testimonials like these and we want you to be our next success story. So anyway, these are um, the emails that get sent out to my new members. So do you see how everything, they're given everything that they could possibly need. And, you know, I'm referring them back to my welcome page so that they can get all of my resources and my video and additional bo unadvertised bonuses and all kinds of good stuff I've given them. And I explain all of this in my welcome video, like that I'm giving them um, some of the other emails that I have. I have emails for marketing different things and then the onboarding email. So anyway, so I'm sending them back to this page and I'm sending them inside the back office and showing them where that they can find like the affiliate fast start training or how that they can um, plug into to our Zoom calls. So everything that these emails are doing are sending them to somewhere where they can access everything that they need without me needing to get on the phone with every single person and say the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. That's what I used to do back in the day when I was building a network marketing business before we were like doing everything online and I felt like a broken record and my schedule was full of appointments and I don't want a business like that anymore. So that's why I do things this way. I'm not the only one that does things this way. If you see anybody that's got a huge business that's sponsoring people every week, 
chances are they're not getting on the phone with every single person because if they are, they have no freedom. And anyway, that's not the kind of business that I want and it's not the kind of business that my target audience wants. So I want to show them that that's, you know, lead by example, demonstrate that this can be done in a much simpler way. And in the process, I'm still giving people more support than they could ever get from me alone if I was doing everything one-on-one. -on -one. So I hope that makes sense. Again, you can use all, everything that I showed you here, you can use for whatever business that you're doing. I just wanted to kind of show you my onboarding um, process so that you could see how my new members are supported and how simple that this can be and that it doesn't have to require a lot of your time. And like I said in the beginning, I think it's really important to set yourself up for success, to create a container where you can grow as big as you want without having to backtrack because now you've gotten everybody used to reaching out to you one-on-one -on -one and all of a sudden you're too busy to be able to answer questions one-on-one -on -one and you have to start over from scratch. My suggestion is if you're just getting started, you know, set yourself up for success from the get-go. You know, if you join my team, use these onboarding emails and create a list in your autoresponder to send people. And like I said, on the, um, on this page with the emails, I have a link to watch this orientation video. And this is going to go over more of the, t the technical side. It's only like 16 minutes long, but it goes over how to, how I set up my campaign in Aweber and all of that. So this goes into to that a little bit more, but, um, anyway, my suggestion would be, you know, use the link on my welcome page to access the emails and go through this orientation and get yourself set up from the get go. And you know, it's so nice now, whenever I get an email notification saying you just made a sale, all I do is I take the email address out of that notification and I come over to my HBA onboarding list and I click add subscribers, add a subscriber, and then I put in their first name because my emails automatically load that into the emails. I put in their email address and I click add subscriber. And then those emails start, you know, the first one goes out, the next, second one goes out the next day, and then two days later, the third one, and then two days later, the fourth one. But all this is all I have to do is put in their first name and their email address. And this system that I have set up does everything else. And my members are highly supported. I'm not chasing anybody. I'm not calling anybody. I'm giving them everything that they need. And they have access to our community and all the support they could possibly want. So I hope this has been helpful. Again, you can do the same thing with any business that you have. If you would like more information about how to join me in the Home Business Academy and what we do here and how you can be a part of it, I will leave a link to that below this video as well. I would love to see you in the community. And we really do have the most support I've ever seen available online. And you're going to have access to all of my resources like I showed you, including these emails that I showed you today. So I would love to see you in the community. If you have any questions, let me know. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.